Hi everyone, Anat Kessler here with a new video tutorial and today I'm going to show you some stamping technique and how to turn a regular stamp into a stamp with color, texture and shape. So I'm starting with some ink, permanent ink, it's really important, otherwise everything we're going to add later on it is going to smear. I'm going to stamp a white cardstock, it's a stamp of a house, and I want to add a brick pattern to my house. So I'm using a stencil, securing it with some tape, and then I'm going to take modeling paste and apply it around the house. I don't mind going over the window and the door and you'll see in a minute why. So I simply cover the entire house with the modeling paste. Of course you need to make sure it's completely dry before you remove the stencil. So now it doesn't look much. I want to add some color to it. I want my bricks to to look like bricks and not just plain white modeling paste. So I'm spraying it with some sprays. I'm using brown colors to give it a more realistic look. And of course I need to make sure it is completely dry. And then to finish my brick look, I'm just going to add a little bit of distress ink on the raised parts of the modeling paste. It doesn't look much, but I'm going to cut around the bottom part of the house where I added all these textures. And this is going to be the bottom part of my house. So basically what I'm doing is I'm deconstructing the stamp and then rebuilding it. So I'm going to stamp the same stamp again in order to treat each part of the stamp, I need to cut them out and work on them se separately. That is why I'm stamping again. Now I want to work on the roof. And I'm going just to color the roof with a little bit of uh, acrylic paint. And then I'm also going to color the sides. And once I have the sides colored, I can go ahead and add a layer of sparkle. I want my roof to sparkle a little bit. So I'm going to use some um, pearl powder, perfect pearls. Mix them with a little bit of water to turn them into paint. And then simply apply them on the dry layer of my acrylic paint. Obviously, you have to make sure that your acrylic paint is dry before you add this layer. It's a very gentle sparkle, but it shines. Now I'm going to cut the roof. Remember I said that if you want to treat each part separately, you need to cut them out later and reconstruct the stamp with the different parts that you're working on. And that's basically the technique. Work on different parts of the stamp, add the texture, the color, the layers, and then reconstruct it on your project. I'm going to ink the edges, and then my roof will be done. Next I want to work on the windows and the door, and I just color them with some distress ink and cut them out as well. So this is the best way to simply upgrade your stamp and instead of adding just a plain stamp to your project, I'm also doing the fence, instead of um, adding a plain stamp to your project, you can really add a lot to it, embellish it, decorate it, work on it, add texture, add color, then make the stamp a really piece of art, a designed piece of art. So I'm going to reconstruct my stamp on a canvas. I have all the parts and I'm simply going to glue them to my canvas. 
this is how I'm going to do it. So the first part is the house itself with the modeling paste and all the texture of the bricks. And I want to glue it also in dimensions. So this one has regular glue. But for the roof and the other parts, I'm going to apply them, attach them to the canvas with foam tape. And that is going to give me extra dimension and look even more realistic and pretty. Also, I'm adding foam tape to the door and the windows. So basically, this is a way to work on your stamp and add texture, color, shape, interest to it and not just color it in a regular way. Really hope you like this tutorial. Please don't forget to subscribe to my channel and click on the little bell icon to notify when I upload a new video. This is how the finished project looks.